in this hand. I don't know. Should I just do it? If you're an analog photographer, I'm pretty sure that you've seen on social media all the content about Harman's brand new color film, Phoenix 200. And I'm sure you've seen all the luscious tones, the fantastic, glorious landscape, those orange sunshine rays. You know, the locations that these have been shot in have been so outstanding. But no one's actually shot it in the motherland of where this film stock was produced. Cold, <laughs> wet, <laughs> England. Like, in mid-December. So, I'm gonna do it. I'm sure you all know that Phoenix is a completely brand new film stock from scratch from the same company as Ilford who bring you uh, HP5 and Kentmere which Kentmere 400 is ooh. and yeah this is not a test roll this is actually my own money buying this after release because I'm not a cool social influencer and I don't have not being bitter about it, but I don't have that status. So my hard earned money has gone into this. I'm just an average working class guy with horribly irregular toilet habits, but you're watching this video. So who's got the issues here? It's too dark, that's so dark. That's too big to be an animal poo. That's crazy. I heard some noises in there. There's a dodgy room, I'm scared. Nah, I'm not going in. So I've seen on videos that Phoenix is good with greens. Found a green patch. Let's see. So, 
Let's be honest. All these videos you've seen have been such perfect environments for this film stock. It's warm, it's lush. Um, you know, especially the American videos, they've been out there in the sunshine, and that's because these test rolls were sent out earlier on in the year. Um, personally, I wouldn't be shooting a stock like this in this climate or this temperature. I would absolutely be saving these kind of rolls for sunny days. Kind of get a vibe of Kodak Gold, um, a much darker version of Kodak Gold, but yeah. This is what we gotta do. We gotta test things in different times, so. Not what I'd do. So I'm just gonna go and find a little bit more light around the area, and see what Phoenix can do. I've got to go back because I want to see what's inside that castle. Let's go find out. Yo, what the hell is down there? Due to an NDA which I have signed, I'm unable to actually explain what happened there. But just to let you know, I kicked the living crap out of it, obviously. Now my expectations for Phoenix was really, really low. And this is kind of due to the online community which were constantly showcasing and bringing up emphasis on the grain in the shadows and the highlights in the highlights. Hence my kind of grumpy approach to this video. I kind of already had expectations shooting this in December and being quite a dark overcast morning. I didn't really think I was going to get anything usable back from this role. However, I was so pleasantly surprised by the results that I got back from my lab, which by the way, I'm using a new lab now called Come Through Lab located in Manchester. And they're really, really good. Because my expectations were so low, I think it hit me much harder when I got these back and was like, wow, these are actually quite magical. I did purchase a second roll of Phoenix, which I am waiting for summer to roll on before I shoot that. And I'll probably be shooting that at a different speed as well. But yeah, hats off to Harmon here for providing us and giving us a new film stock, something completely new to play with. Whether you like it, or whether you don't like it, it's good for the film community that we're getting new film stocks. 
it's new it's fun it's completely different to what i expected so yeah go and experiment with it yourself and like i said hats off to him but i'm not taking my hat because my hat stays on my head Thank you.